And we also have the ring debut of Larry Donald. He comes in at 227 pounds, a member of the Olympic team, along with Oscar De La Hoya. Tonight he takes his first professional step as he takes on a rather experienced fighter for the first time out, Craig Brinson. Let's get to the action now with the ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the famous Hollywood Palladium here in Hollywood, California, where tonight Top Rank Incorporated, in association with the undisputed, undefeated King of Beer, Budweiser, presents professional boxing for your entertainment. All the bouts tonight are sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Let's get things started, ladies and gentlemen, in the heavyweight division. This bout scheduled for six rounds. The referee for this contest is Gwen Adair. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing in at an even 198 pounds from Duarte, California. His professional record two and one, both of those victories by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Brinson. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with black trim, weighing in at 227 pounds, fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio. This young man represented the U.S. on the 1992 Olympic team, making his professional debut tonight. Let's welcome Larry Speedy Young Donald. So those are the combatants. Let's talk about the rules here in the state of California. And well, these will stand pretty much uh, for this one and our, also our USBI uh, match. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight. Uh, the ref or the doctor can stop the fight. Ten point must scoring. Uh, the referee does not figure in the score. And uh, you cannot be saved by the bell in any round. So what's left is to get on with it. There is a look at Craig Brinson. Craig won his first two fights by knockout, but then in his third fight, he himself was knocked out by Daniel Dancuda. In the other corner, of course, Larry Donald. And Donald worked in the corner by Jenks Morton, a guy who I just have nothing but respect for. Excellent trainer, worked for Sugar Ray Leonard and many other great fighters. And uh, he, when he talked to us today, Jenks told us, he said, I think Larry Donald has tremendous potential. And uh, they've been working together about a month now. And uh, he feels that Donald is starting to, to learn those lessons well. And with a looping uppercut that did get Brinson's attention. Donald, of course, always had great speed as an amateur, hand speed and foot speed, but was just always a little inconsistent. And sh never, it never, sh it never showed more than in the Olympics against Roberto Bellato when he uh, lost to the Cuban in the quarterfinals. Donald on his toes, good portion of this first round. Looping right hand by Brinson misses. Brinson said he really wants uh, Donald to come to him, even though Donald likes to. He, he, he feels that if Donald comes to him, he'll have a little bit of an advantage. Right now, the height and reach, obviously, a big problem for Brinson. Yeah, Brinson trying to get inside of that. I think mean, a modicum of success, but Donald not doing very much either. Larry Donald doesn't have the greatest left hook on earth, but, but there, it, Brinson is wide open for it. If Donald can throw a good compact left hook, he can hurt Brinson. And compounded it. by the fact that Brinson stepped into it. Yeah, he's, he's, Brinson's leaving himself wide open for that punch. Yeah, you can see Brinson with a little bit of a lazy right hand, and that could really cost him. Brinson has his wish because uh, Donald is coming to him. His corner trying to exhort him to step inside, but that's sometimes easier said than done. And that was the left hand again. It was a little bit short by Donald. Yeah, he does not possess a great left hook. It's not one of his major stock and trade uh, kind of punches. And, um, that's something I know Jenks Morton is working on. You can see how many times he's thrown in this, in this match. There's a nice combination by Brinson, and that got Donald's attention. And instinctively, Larry Donald gets on his bicycle. That's what he's done so many times before as an amateur. Brinson looks like he's just having trouble getting loose. He's done a lot of stretching. The right hand is behind the head. He can do this first round, though, and can nail Donald with a couple more. He may gain a little confidence. It's a good uppercut by Brinson. Yeah, not bad at all. Brinson still looking like he's trying to get loose. Brinson took a left hand, but he will get through the first round. 
and a one. We'll be back. Here is where Craig Brinson got Larry Donald's attention with the left hook. I don't think it stunned Donald badly, but uh, it did at least make him know Brinson's got a punch. Brinson, on the other hand, did get a couple of punches of his own in the first round, but Brinson just looks out of sync. Kind of fighting off his heels. And I think probably a lot of tension. You know, he's in a bigger match. He's on television. He's in against a, a well-known opponent. And uh, that was a good right hand by Donald, and that did hurt Brinson. And the right hand behind it hurts him again. It's making Brinson fight, though. When he fights on the inside, he's got a shot at landing something. Well, he's right there for that right hand also. Yeah, and he goes down from a pushing right hand, and I think that's kind of a residual of the first one. You know what? Good for, good for Larry Donald. He didn't hit him when he was down, and he could have. And, and these days in boxing, you don't get penalized for it. Because Larry Donald couldn't find a neutral corner to go to, that count lasted long. Princeton just doesn't look like he wants to be here, to tell you the truth. Not right now, but if he was smart, he'd crank up those left hooks. Brinson still back on his heels. Won't take much more. Now right there is where if I was Brinson, I would try throwing that left hook no matter what. When Donald is in, in range, you gotta try and wing it because that's the punch you landed before. So. There is a right hand, and that will put Brinson down for the second time. And a long way to go in the second round. There is no three knockdown. Here. That's it. They'll stop the fight right there. It's well stopped. I don't think Brinson wanted any more of this. And Larry Donald will have seen his first professional fight come and go, and it will come and go with the W. I don't know what can be said about this fight. Well, Far superior. It showed two things. One, Larry Donald was able to, to, to show some power in his right hand. Brinson had been knocked out in the previous fight, of course, but um, Donald, we knew he has, a, we know he has a pretty good right hand, and there it is. Brinson wide open for it. And uh, there it is again. And, and for Larry Donald, a win, he, he needed a knockout win, I think, in his first fight to all heavyweights seem to, to demonstrate uh, that they have power to go along with his boxing skills. And this was where it ended, where Princeton went down for the second and final time. Clean right hand put him down. And Donald landed 21 to three over Princeton in round two. All right, let's make it all official here as soon as Michael Buffer gets the official time. And let's get up the center of the ring. Here's Michael Buffer with the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at one minute and 47 seconds of round number two, winning his professional debut with a knockout victory, U.S. Olympian Larry Speedy Young Donald. So Larry Donald wins it with a second round technical knockout, and I'm sure they will put him on a fairly fast track, too. That seems to be the thing that's happening as more and more fighters are, young fighters are fighting in rapid succession. I'm sure he'll be back in another couple of weeks. Meantime, he's one up and none down.